All right, all right. Welcome to Wall Street Jack Boys Game Plan Sunday. Today's date is Sunday, June 30. It's the last day of the month, and it's uh, you know monumental uh, uh, day, I guess, because it's the uh, it marks the end of the first six months of the year. And so we're going to go over a couple of different things about our uh, mid-year review. Uh, first, we'll go ahead and take a look at the markets now. I think we're going to get it jumping with the markets, uh, see what we have right now. Um, so basically, um, what was leading to this week here, it's pretty light. Um, last week, we had a, a pretty cool trade. I'll just walk you guys through on Walmart real quick, and then we'll jump into the markets. This is a trade that we called from uh, Game Plan Sunday last week. So hopefully you guys are here. We caught this trade. It's pretty nice easy setup it was a short at the top of for Walmart here so you guys can take a look at the chart and so basically uh, let me just zoom in on it okay so this is the set this was a pretty cool setup that I, I caught last week uh, in Walmart um, as we saw Walmart hit this the ceiling here right so I saw I hit that extension I wanted to catch it you know uh, catch it on the uh, the reversion to the mean uh, which was this uh, this white line here right so we wanted to catch it here so it was a short play off in Walmart from last week to catch down here basically um, so you if you were able to time this then you should be able to get out with you know a little over 50 percent return um, and if you were not able to get out in that time, then if you're still in, then you can see this kind of like double top formation kind of coming here. So you can catch it on this next leg down. So if you're still holding in that trade, uh, the area to watch is this line here. You want to see if it's going to actually come through and break through, set your target so you can get out quickly. If it doesn't, if it solidifies here and it, you know, comes back up to this level here, um, you know, you want to break out, you know, if you get up to this level here, you want to hold it past there if it comes back up. So that was a pretty cool trade. That I think that really worked out pretty good. I was pretty light over the week knowing that we had the G20, which the G20 was the big thing here, uh, which you guys already know. I'm sure you've seen it all over the news and you see the markets are reacting to it right now. But the G20, as far as what I know, I haven't seen any developments now. You guys know that can change any second of the day y'all know how you know the POTUS is <laughs> but last time I checked things were going good over uh, with G the G20 conference it looks like uh, uh, let me pull up the yeses and the markets is behaving very very good towards it the markets is loving whatever is happening over in G20 so you don't have to be there to know that the market is loving what it's seeing you see the NASDAQ right now at the hours now okay this is already over 100 points. This is really, really strong move already. You know, we haven't even gotten into tomorrow yet, right? Look at the rest of them. So these are all looking pretty good. Uh, basically, um, from what I understand is that Trump basically um, um, is postponing some tariffs on China, which that's a good development in the, in the business world because nobody wants the whole beef with the trade wars in the first place. But he's scaling back on those extra tariffs that they was getting ready to put on. Uh, on China, so that's a good thing. Uh, it looks like he also scaled back on their restrictions, the regulations on Huawei, which is Chinese, uh, is, is China's, you know, one of the biggest companies, and uh, with SARS technology. We wrote an article a while back on 5G, and I encourage you guys to check out that article because it's got a lot of great information in there. But basically, we're in this technological war, and uh, it's basically a race to, to get 5Gs, to get 5G and secure 5G. But what people don't understand, all these companies are like intertwined. They do business with each other. And so Trump and, them, uh, Trump and his administration has been, you know, putting their foot on their neck, basically, to put them under pressure. You know, again, this is uh, uh, Trump and Xi Jinping. Uh, these guys, you know, China's tough, uh, really tough when it comes to trade negotiations. And, uh, you know, he's handling that in, in that kind of way where they're, you know, they're they're dealing with money. So it's money wars, basically. Um, so anyhow, you see that. Uh, G20, uh, again, all these world leaders are coming together and uh, shake some hands, kiss some babies, take some pictures. Uh, but, you know, hopefully they, you know, come up with some uh, resolutions 
And, you know, these are the leaders of the world. So when they come, they, they come together about, you know, how they're going to change the world, basically. So anyway, that's very important. We didn't know how it was going to turn out. So I told you guys to be light for the week. And uh, if you listen, then you should probably be pretty good. So you don't get chopped up. And again, you never know how these things turn out. But so far, everything looks pretty good. I did see that Trump was out uh, with uh, stopped by North Korea, hanging out with uh, Kim Jong Un and uh, was the first president to, to do that. And uh, again, the markets, they're liking what they're seeing here. As you guys can see that the money is moving. OK. Um, also, I pull out this other little indicator you guys can see. Well, let's see if I can pull it up here. Uh, okay, so that's not gonna let me pull it up. Not right now. Anyhow, but we'll get into it. Um, I'll show you guys some other stuff. But as far as right now, uh, the future markets are moving. And let me just pull up the S&P right now so you guys can see what's happening. All right, so this is the S&P right here. And we fell, we came down, we hit this floor, we secured this floor. And the market is uh, here currently on this candlestick right here. And you see it's at a new high, okay? 29.77, it, tar it, it, it tagged that. Right now it's actually at 29.70, so it's starting to breathe a little bit. Um, but basically we're seeing the, the markets uh, racing to 3,000. I mean, that's basically it. The market light hole numbers. And so again, I have these extension levels at the top and pretty much you know, looking for the markets to, to rally up to about here. We'll see. Um, but um, <laughs> it's okay, so Terry. I'm going to break it down for you guys in a second. <laughs> so basically uh, what we're doing is we're projecting moves in the market in order for you to make money. You got to get in position with anticipation that is going to move in a direction that you're projecting it to go in. So in our projection, we're saying that this thing is going to go up. All right. So it's going to go up. So we're going to choose some place to the long side. We get in, we ride away, we get out. OK, so we have these targets that let us know, hey, get out here at this level. This is a ceiling. That's basically what it is. Anyhow, so still uh, bullish on stock market until otherwise okay because again we, we have to play with the markets give us okay when we're looking at the stock markets we're looking at the trends we're looking at you know all this data here and that's what it's telling us all right so we're going to play that until it breaks so that's to the long side uh i'm gonna go ahead and get into some plays that i'm looking at real quick because i got a lot to cover tonight uh what i am actually looking at playing long again the big trend you see the index is going up what I want to get some exposure in is going to be JP Morgan. All right. I want to get some exposure here in JP Morgan because, again, we just saw the sectors are moving up. So we want to follow the trend until the trend ends because the trend is your friend. At least that's what they tell you. <laughs> so anyhow, so I want to get some bullish exposure here in JP Morgan. All right. And uh, we see we have some floors here. We do have uh, resistance up here. It is up against, you know, some resistance here, but uh, right here. But I believe we're going to be able to move up towards this level here. We did get a buy trigger here. And I want to get in this move. I want this to be a quick move. So I don't plan on holding us for long. I'm talking about you know, a couple of days here. All right. Um, we have a squeeze set up here. We got uptrend. We have upward momentum. We also have another buy trigger. Now, we do have earnings up ahead, and we got a dividend payout this week. I believe uh, that's going to be in a couple of days. So the move is to get in and get out quickly. Expect that squeeze to fire off and to blast us, you know, blast us off, you know, into the upper rims. So we play it to the long side because, again, we got the squeeze. We got the upward momentum, uh, the trend. We got the upward momentum. We got another buy trigger that says, hey, get in. The only thing we need to clear is this pink line here which is the 618 retracement and um, as far as uh, that goes we may get a hurdle here but I'm anticipating for this thing to go up here to about 118 so uh, also if you guys I'm gonna show you a little cheat code <laughs> kind of help you out here it's not really a cheat code but this is something that I use all right so something on this because I think I'm a little aggressive I may play this aggressively I'm not too sure but we'll see um, with JP Morgan 
Uh, if you guys go to the options tab, if you go to the options tab here, uh, we can see the pricing. Okay, this is the price of JP Morgan. We can see that. That's where it last traded at on Friday. This is right now. Okay, the last bid that was placed. Yeah, so that's the last. This is the this is the bid that's placing right now. Now you see, when I come to the markets on Sunday nights before Monday, right? This is what I want to look for. I want to see stocks whose bid price are already positive above its last trading price. This right here may give us a gap up. This is a strong, you know, a sign that lets us know that this is gonna be, it's gonna open up, you know, six six pennies here stronger, okay? <laughs> because that's what the bidders are wanting. They want to buy this here, all right? Um, so I do uh, like this to the long side, and uh, the the calls here uh, again, you know, try to get those delta seventies, or you can play the uh, the delta sixty six here, but. Again, I like this. Uh, yeah, yes, I do like uh, playing uh, JP Morgan to the long side. And again, this is a short trade. So for a couple of days um, is what I plan on tagging, getting in and getting out of this trade here with some profits. So I do like JP Morgan for some long, some long side. Uh, I also like City. Again, the banks, the banks are doing really good right now. I don't have a squeeze here. But smart money, like putting money in city, because city is a good performer. Okay, <laughs> and so I like city. Also like city to the north side. I got a seventy, about seventy four, seventy five. You could just say seventy five dollar target here in city. So I like to play that to the long side as well. Okay, and I haven't done too well in, in, in financials, so I'm just now stepping back in financials. Okay, for the year, I've been kind of taking a break on it, but I like what I see in financials right now. Uh, Thursday, there was a report that came out that the Fed's actually, uh, I'm just giving you guys a reasoning, okay? Uh, Thursday, there was a, a report that came out, the Fed's, they do they do the stress test thing. They're actually taking a look at all of our financial institutes, you know, the, the top dogs, the banks, and they want to make sure that they can weather a storm. Do they have enough capital, you know, for liquidity reasons? If there is a recession, they're already preparing for a recession, basically. And they basically... You know, it's called a stress test. Uh, I think it's called CCAR. But basically, these banks, they pass with flying colors. OK. And, um, you know, you're talking about your Morgan Stanley's, your Goldman Sachs, your JP Morgan, um, you name it. They, you know, these these guys, uh, these banks, they pass with flying colors. In fact, they're paying out extra dividends. They're giving raises on dividends. They're making extra payouts. That's how bullish it is. And so that's the story behind the technicals again i'm combining the story that's the information that's the news right the rumors and the news and then i got the technicals to back that we combine that for a strong signal so that's just back in my conviction on why i'm looking at you know playing these trades to the long side okay um and again we you know i showed you guys here a short trade that we have in walmart and um i'll show you another one Mm, another one that I'm kind of looking at in Coca-Cola. Okay. So Coca-Cola has this double top pattern. As you guys can see, Coca-Cola has this double top pattern. Okay. And um, this is a bearish pattern. Okay. So with this pattern, the outcome supposed to be that it's supposed to go down. Okay. So that's what we're projecting. All right. Um, that's what we're projecting. We do have, we had a sell trigger here. We do see that the momentum is starting to go downwards. We see our trend is going down and it's actually going into a squeeze. So this may be a slow creeper, but I do like this to the downside for the technical reasons. If we dial in on the intraday chart, we could probably, uh, well, more than likely what I expect for us to do is to fall down to this level here, okay? And then we may get some support here. You want to get some support. You want to see if that support is going to hold or not. And we don't know if that support is going to hold because it could solidify. We're not too sure. But based off of that, I'll be, you know, managing the risk. Okay. If it goes weaker, then again, we go here 
and then I'll like to exit with some profits. So anyhow, those are some ideas uh, for the week coming up. And uh, is there any trades that you guys want to take a look at real quick? Uh, Satira, you said when it goes up, that's good. Yeah, so Satira, uh, basically uh, it's, it's, it's direction. So if we say something is going to go up, um, and if it actually does what we say it's going to do, then if we play it with a certain strategy that says we're going to make money if it goes up, then we'll make money. Uh, there's other strategies that we use that will actually uh, say go down. Like I just showed you guys uh, the setup here in Coca-Cola that I'm looking forward to uh, possibly shorten here. And, uh, you know, thinking that it's going to go down, I'll play it to the short side. So I'll place on a strategy that says, I believe this thing is going to go down. If it goes down, I'm going to make some money. Okay. Now, as options traders, we could trade the market in, in every direction. It can, we could say, I don't think it's going to go nowhere. I think it's going to chop sideways. We have strategies for that uh, where, you know, if you trade in stocks, you can't, you know, make no money if it's going sideways. You got to make money if it go up. Uh, and if you're lucky, you can short if it goes down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all optional. It depends on what you bring to the table. It depends on what, what, what type of capital you bring into the table, whether you got a $500 account or a $5,000 account. You know, your risk management, we do at our courses, we have, you know, guidelines for managing so that you're not over trading or over leveraging your accounts. Uh, we don't want you to blow your account. So it's proper allocations depending on what you bring to the table of how, what kind of capital you should be deploying in the market so that you can make some money off of it. So definitely uh, encourage you to check out our website, which is at WallStreetJapBoys.com. Um, sign up. You get the courses. You get more than just the courses. You get the blueprints. You get our guidelines. You get our risk management guideline. A lot of people always tell you about making money in the stock market, but they don't tell you about risk management or risk mitigation. And risk mitigation, that's one of the most important you know, things uh, in, in, in the stock market with making money and securing capital. So that's fundamental to what we teach at Wall Street Jack Boys. So definitely uh, we give you the whole blueprint. We give you the trade blueprint set up and everything. Um, so with that being said, what's good, my man, I day Roy T, Teams to see Keith, Susan, Ed, I see you guys. Make sure y'all hit that share button. I'm getting ready to go with some deep information, okay? Getting ready to go with some deep information. You guys let me know if y'all have some setups that y'all looking at, uh, that you want to take a look at, and we'll try to pull it up. But I do want to cover a couple of things here that I put together. Bingo. Let's see if I can stretch this a little bit. I'll make it too big. So I'll make sure you guys can see the information, though. So. All right. So this is what we uh, are going to expect coming for the week. This is what you guys need to expect for the week coming up. It's going to be a short week in the markets because it's 4th of July. It's Independence Day week. Uh, which is a Federal Observe holiday. So the markets are going to be closed on Wednesday and Thursday. All right. So it's going to be a short week. OK, um, so you want to make sure you manage your trade. So we'll be in on the market on Monday, Tuesday, take a little couple of vacation days off. And then on Friday, we will return back. That's going to be a lot of economic data that's going to be released this week. A lot of economic data and the markets are going to behave off of the data that's going to get released. OK, <laughs> some of that data we're going to go over here in a few moments. OK, because what I want to do here is have our mid-year review. Um, we already wrote, uh, wrote a, a blog that's getting ready to go out for you guys um, either Monday or Tuesday. Um, but um, I want to show you guys this little report that I put together. It's a lot of work putting all this data together. And uh, if you guys are interested in getting your hands on what I'm getting ready to show you, make sure you uh, put in your email address in the chat. You know, just put in your email address along with your name. Um, and we'll make sure that you guys get a copy of this. All the Wall Street Jack Boys members, you guys will get a copy of this. So uh, 